Hi, I'm Ryan Underwood, field agronomist with Pioneer in South Central Minnesota. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about Pioneer's Growing Point Agronomy Trials that we're doing in Southwest Minnesota for 2019. Behind me you can see it. I'm standing in front of a corn plot. We call these our product knowledge plots. Um, we have both corn and soybean plots and it, for both of those we're, we're testing anywhere from 12 to 16 different hybrids or varieties in each location uh, ranging from on the corn side 94 to 113 day products on the soybean side anywhere from an 08 maturity all the way up to a 25 so given the given uh, uh, the locations uh, kind of uh, geography we're, we're kind of transitioning you know earlier products or later products depending on, on that location's geography so what are we trying to do with these plots basically what we have is each pioneer sales rep in, in southwest minnesota has at least one corn and one soybean pkp plot uh, we use them not only just for yield and moisture at in the fall but we're also out here evaluating today i'm taking stand counts looking at overall emergence but we're also taking things, you know, we're looking at root strength. If we get a wind event, we're looking at brittle, you know, brittle strength. Uh, you know, we get closer to the fall, we're looking at stay green, you know, late season plant health, stuff like that. On the soybean side of things, we're looking at anything, you know, kind of overall starting out with emergence. Then we're looking at diseases, you know, we're looking at phytophthora differences, IDC differences, white mold differences. And then uh, as we get closer to the fall, we're looking at plant structure, uh, harvestability, and then ultimately yield and moisture on that as well. So um, what, are, what, what products are we looking at here? So we're, we're not only looking at products that we're selling today here in 2019, but we're also looking at products that we recently advanced this past winter that will be selling full sales volumes in 2020. So we're comparing old, new products and seeing how they fit into our lineup going forward. You know using some of our, 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 our top selling products this year and then comparing some of the new ones that we're bringing that we think will replace those going into the future. So on the corn side, we're excited. We're testing Chrome technology, looking at how, how that fits into our lineup that that was recently approved. Um, on the soybean side of things, we're, we're not only looking at Roundup Ready to Extend varieties, we're looking at Liberty Link varieties, and we're also looking at the new Enlist E3 soybean trade as well. So a lot of exciting things uh, that we're looking at, trying to learn, really trying to find, you know, look at these products and understand right product, right acre. So when, we, when we're when we sitting down with you and coming up with the field by field plan, how can we put the best product on the best acre for success going forward? So really encourage, you know, growers to get out there, talk to your pioneer sales reps, talk to your, your field agronomist for your area and you know kind of uh understand when they may be having a plot tour or a field day um or maybe if you if you can't make one of those you know talk to your sales rep see if you can get lined up with a one-on-one -on -one plot tour kind of to see what we have coming new really we're really excited here at pioneer of what we got coming and uh of where we're going so hope to see you in a plot this summer otherwise have a good day thank you that concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.